Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dan Vedanti, host of Truth Radio and Truth Video. I'm on uh, WALE 990M Greenville Province every Mondays, 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern Live. And also, I, um, I'm on www.990wbob.com, Renegade Radio. I'm on air live every Sunday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and they replay my shows every day, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, you can check all my listings out at www.truthradio.cc. It has my uh, show archives for both stations and, um, you know, my upcoming guests. And we got a, a pretty good lineup of guests already, and we got some good ones coming up. And uh, again, uh, today is May 5th of 2010, and I want to catch up to speed on what's been going on, you know, all the tyrancy that's been going on. And um, again, my name is Dan Bedandi, the Truth Warrior. I'm the host, and um, I just want to uh, bring you people up to date. I want to get you well familiar with what's going on here in America, and not just America, the world. You're, again, a big brother to tolerant police state, total dictatorship, and a complete takeover of the military industrial complex for one thing a new world order. One economy, one government, one religion. The very same thing that the Holy Bible describes. The very same thing that the Pope, the last two Popes called for. The very same thing that Billy Graham's calling for. The very same thing that Pat Robertson's calling for. The very same thing Obama, Bush, Bush, and Clinton's calling for. Also Reagan and Carter. Henry Ron Port, um, Gordon Brown, Tony Blair, all calling for a new world order. And a new world religion. That's right, all these people call for a new world order, a new world religion. They say, we all serve the same God. When our Bible says, I'm sorry, they say, oh, we all serve the same God. You have your way to heaven with Muhammad. You have your way to heaven with Joseph Smith, whatever. But the Bible clearly says, the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Jesus himself said that. I am the only way to heaven. Through me alone. And these people conducting um, a whole... One world religion that's already been adopted by the United Nations. And under UN documents, okay, UN doctrines, and um, under martial law here in America, and it's, uh, it, it's a law under martial law that no church will be able to speak or teach unless it's UN doctrine approved. Basically, if you go up there and say, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, your church will be shut down. Uh, you'll be arrested. Probably, and um, it'll be speaking blasphemy. Now, half the churches you can't say being gay is a sin because it's a hate crime. Well, I'll tell you what, ACLU, I'll tell you what, um, anybody opposes that crime, being gay is a sin. Okay, I'm not criticizing gay people. I have friends that are gay, but my job is to tell you that. You know, I don't judge you like these radicals do. You know, God judges, not me. You know, I got friends out there who are gay, and I still love them the same. But my job is to tell them what they're doing is wrong. Now, what they do from there, and I tell them why it's wrong, you know, because God says so. But what they do from there, it's their business with God. I'm not going to judge them. But however, you know, for a church to say that, okay, and uh, for the government to step in and say, hey, you know, you can't say it's a hate crime. What happened to separation of church and state? And I want to clear something up very clearly, okay, for you brain-dead idiots out there. Okay, that, oh, I, I learned this in high school, or I learned this in college. Okay, the separation of church and state was only established, and get through this, this to your uneducated heads, okay? The only reason it was established, it wasn't to destroy Christianity, it was to protect it. When it was established, it was clearly stated. So the government could never come in and take it away. That's the only reason why. It wasn't there to uh, separate church and state, like, uh, in other words... You know, you keep religion uh, on a DL. No, it was nothing like that, okay? It was uh, for Christianity, okay? So be protected. That's the only reason it was established for. Regardless of what you learn in school, our founding fathers were Christians. The founding fathers established this whole continuity of government, this whole establishment on Christianity. I mean, uh, if anybody wants to debate me on that, I got tons and tons of quotes from our founding fathers, statements, written documents, Stateness. And, um, they, I mean, I could debate people all night. I mean, there was this one website that was uh, saying that the Christian uh, founding fathers were not Christians. This ain't a Christian country. I put up more content, twice as much more content, than the entire website. And I still had more. 
And yes, I'm an American history buff. I'm not an expert in it, but I know a lot about American history and still learn it today. Real American history, not what you learn at Brown University, not that what you would learn at Yale or Harvard, okay? They're lies, okay? Not what you learn in your little high school. Lies, lies, lies. The Texas, you know, Texas, the school departments took Thomas Jefferson out of the, uh, the school books because Thomas Jefferson always taught you to fight against tyranny. And uh, we're slowly but surely moving all our founding fathers out. FEMA's going around telling law enforcement officers. There's groups go around from FEMA saying to kids that I found the fathers were terrorists. This is no, you know, no conspiracy, no lie. This is true. And um, moving on, um, when I was talking to you last time about Internet 2, a total censorship of the Internet. That's right, they want to totally censor the Internet. They basically filter through any shows like this, so it could be conspiracies or... Uh, anti-government rhetoric or whatever, new anti-New World Order, gone, okay? Now, to introduce this, to make this on to the population, they have to create a crisis. Thus, this whole fake cyber war, that's why I say fake, there's a fake cyber war going on between the United States and China. With Google and um, Obama saying, oh, we had a cyber breach, blah, 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 and they're trying to push Internet too. And uh, it takes you people out there to say, no, we're not going to stand for it. And, and the power of resistance does wonders. Our founding fathers were the same way. You know, resisted the, uh, the, the crown. You know, told King Henry III that, um, you, know, when, you know, we're not going to abide by these, be, by these rules, okay? By other, so we're going to be forced to be Catholics. You know, we're, we're Christians, not Catholics. We gotta be forced to be Catholics, in which we know Catholicism by um, Constantino, the emperor of Rome. He merged Christianity with the new order of Christianity, he called it, with paganism, because Romans always devoured on paganism, always. That's a known fact. Okay, they merged paganism with Christianity to create Catholicism. Now that's where all the wars come up. Okay, with different wars and what happened, and people think, oh, the Catholics are the real church. No, they're not. Okay, I feel bad for people who go to the church. Okay, I don't mean to disgrace you, but you need to get out of there. You need to get out of that religion. Okay, if you do your history alone, now listen to me, go do your own history. Constantino created the popes. Okay, he created this whole Catholicism movement. And Catholicism, it's plain and simple, is a mix of um, Christianity with paganism. Okay, there's nothing good about it. They lied about Jesus' birthday. He wasn't even born in December. It's a, um, that day is um, December 25th is a, a satanic holiday of Yule and um, the pagan holiday of solstice, winter solstice. They lied about Jesus' resurrection. Okay, Jesus did die for three days, three nights. And Jesus specified two, so many different ways. I'm going to be dead for three days, three nights. He said, just like Jonas the whale, three days and three nights. So 72 hours. Dying on Friday and raising on Sunday, do your math. The most it could possibly be is 24 hours. Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday is 24 hours the most. Not 72. Jesus said 72. Okay, he, and he, he rose on the Sabbath day, which is not Sunday. Okay, so Easter Sunday is a day, uh, pagan goddess Ether. That was a celebration of her birthday. Uh, not her birthday, but her, uh, that was her celebration and everything. And the color in eggs is for fertility. It's a pagan ritual done thousands of years before Christ. Now, Jesus was crucified on a Wednesday and rose on a Sabbath day, which is Saturday. Not Sunday. Sunday is the day of sun worship. Pagan is sun worship in the sky. That's why the Catholicism moved and make sure everybody else moved the day of worship to Sunday. Because God says the seventh day you will rest. And remember the seventh day is the Sabbath day, which is Saturday. The seventh day of the week. That's why calendars begin on Saturdays. Probably Sundays, I mean. Because it's the first day of the week. And, um, you know, it's total manipulation. I mean, I'm not going to sit here bash the Catholics over there because idiots uh, like Pat Robinson, Billy Graham are just as bad. Uh, Peter Popoff, Benny Hinn, uh, the whole TBN network. You know, Ted Turner also, another idiot. Okay, these guys are blasphemous. Jesus says, many will come in my name and deceive many, and these are the ones. 
And um, moving on to more news. So we know we got a little while here. We've got 10 minutes of going by. And uh, the new cap and trade, well, 